The all new Lumix Lab app is here and it's designed to make moving files between your Lumix camera and your smartphone a lot smoother and faster. It doesn't stop there though. It also allows you to add your own LUTs for your own look and feel, making content creation and sharing much more efficient. So grab your smartphone, grab your camera, and let me show you how to get started. And by the way, it's available on iOS and Android devices as well. We've also added some time tags so you can skip or return to a process if necessary. To begin, you need to install the Lumix Lab app on your smartphone. Once you've installed it, the first thing you want to try and do is transfer photos and videos from the camera to your smartphone. Here's how you do it. Let's start by pairing your camera with your smartphone. So we hit the menu button, scroll down to the spanner icon, then we go down to connectivity in and out, and then scroll down to Bluetooth. Hit Bluetooth and then hit pairing. This will begin the pairing process. Then add a new device, then open the Lumix Lab app on your smartphone, go to camera, and then you can pair the camera. As you can see, it'll come up with your camera, click pair, and then it goes through the pairing process. As you can see, it's very quick. Now we can begin to transfer photos and videos. To begin to transfer your photos and videos, simply tap transfer photo and video, and this should bring up all the photos and videos that you've captured on your camera. Now you can select all the ones that you wanna work on and save them. Next, you can also create your own LUTs inside the app. That way you can apply them repeatedly whenever you need to do so, making your workflow much more efficient. Here's how you do it. Inside the app, tap gallery. This shows all the photos and videos that you've downloaded already. Let's tap this one here, for example. Now we can create our own LUT. We've got some preloaded ones already at the bottom area, but if we click tools, this allows you to change things like light, color, U saturation, luminance, tone curve, and much more. So for example, if I click light, I can change the brightness and exposure on this photo, for example. We do contrast, reduce the highlights, maybe bring up the exposure a bit more, change the shadow, click save on the bottom right, and then go across, go to color. I can change the white balance, make it a bit warmer, for example. You can do tone curve as well, split tone, detail. I'm gonna to go to detail, increase the sharpness just a little bit, apply that. We go to effects, we can add a bit of grain to it as well. And then we go to crop and rotate. In crop and rotate, you'll be able to change different aspect ratio for different social media platforms or wherever you're planning on sharing it. So for example, if I'm going to be sharing this in stories, I can click nine by 16, and this will crop it just the way that it needs to be. Once you've created the look and feel that you want in the edit, now you want to create your LUT from here. So we tap the top right corner, and then we have the option to save photo, create LUT or share. Right now we want to create LUT, so we tap create LUT, and here we can name it what we want. So we're gonna call this travel and then set. Now that's saved in our LUT library. Once you've created your LUT, you can then apply them to all your photos and videos right inside the Lumix Lab app. So if we go back into gallery, we then select another photo that we've taken. So let's select this building. We can then scroll across at the bottom to see our LUT, which is the travel. So we can then tap that and then it's automatically applied to that photo. We then hit the top right corner and save the photo. This doesn't apply to photos only. You can also do it to your video clips. For example, we tap this video here. We scroll again at the bottom, tap travel, and then that's now applied to that video as well. You can also transfer the LUTs that you've created on your smartphone straight to your Lumix camera. Using real-time LUTs, you can view exactly what it would look like when you're shooting out and about. This is also baked into your content making it beneficial for instant social media sharing. On the Lumix Lab app, tap LUT on the bottom right, tap the one that you've created, so I've got travel. On travel, I can then transfer to camera. Tap transfer to camera, select where you want to place it in your camera's LUT library, so let's do set two, LUT transfer, and this will go straight to your camera. This process takes seconds. So to apply the LUT that we've transferred to the camera, press menu, and then go to image quality one option on your settings, on the video camera settings, and then select photo style. At the moment, it's on standard. Scroll across until we see real time LUT. There it is. Tap down. This will bring up the option to select a new LUT. So we tap LUT selection, scroll across to the one we created, which was travel. Select that, click set. One set, now you're ready to use that LUT in real time. If you're on the new Lumix S9, you can just tap the new LUT button and that will take you straight to your LUT option. And then you can select the real time LUTs that you wanna use. So travel again, set, and you're good to go. 
Using the Lumix Lab app means you can share your content to your favorite social media network once you're happy with the results. The beauty of this is you can save time by editing and sharing on the move. Before you share, you also get the option to trim to the optimal aspect ratio suitable to your favorite social media platform. To do this, tap the photo you want to share, go inside tools, scroll across, all the way to crop and rotate. Now you've got different aspect ratios available. So for me, for this photo, I'm going to select 9x16 to share to stories. Tap the tick. Now that's ready to be shared. There's also the batch function that allows you to apply your LUTs to multiple pieces of content all at once. To do that, so tap the photo, add the LUTs that you want to this one, and then you can do batch on the bottom right corner, add all the photos you want to apply the edits to, add the files, now they've been applied to the other files. To check that it's been applied, you can press and hold the picture so you can see the before and after. So now you can see that your LUT's been applied to all your photos. I guess all that's left to do is actually share it to my stories. So tap the top right corner, select share, and then tap my social network, tap stories, and then I can share that straight to my stories. And there you go, voila. One more thing, you can also apply your favorite content creators lots to your content, which is a game changer. So many times you see your favorite creators share their content and you want yours to look like theirs. Well, now you can apply the same look providing they've made them available. To do that in the Lumix Lab app, tap download at the bottom of the screen. Now you will see creators lot. So if we tap the first one, for example, this will load all their lots that they've made available. So now we can tap Emerald Cinema, for example, we can then download that lot. But before we do, we can also see what it looks like before and after as well. It even tells you which settings to use. So for example, this is based on Vlog. So now we can download this and then go back to a gallery, select the video I wanted to apply it to, scroll across to Emerald Cinema, and now that's applied to my content. If you use your favorite creators lot, don't forget to tag them. Well, that's it for the all new Lumix Lab app. It's very straightforward to use and it streamlines your workflow and I'm sure you'll enjoy using it. Happy content creation.